Right, ladies and gentlemen, this is an internal uh, pointing job with hotline. Uh, it's very important uh, when working internally to get the right shade, to use the right lime. Um, the reason for that is because lime interacts with photons of light. And what I've done is I've um, uh, decided, you know, I'm using this opportunity to demonstrate how important it is to use the right lime and the right sand internally. Now, uh, it's what, quarter past three, February, so not a particularly bright day today. Uh, and um, so what we've got is, we have a load of mold, a load of cement, um, really bad case of builder bodge here. So I've actually removed um, the back end of half a ton of deleterious material uh, from, um, from these joints. And uh, so you've got about back end of uh, half a ton of lime uh, going, in, going into this. Um, and um, the idea is to use the right lime, right sand combination internally to get a creamy white mortar. Uh, and it's, uh, it's flush pointed. So, which means that it's going to absorb any moisture up from the ground and from the atmosphere, um, uh, keeping the house um, dry, free from condensation and damp. Now you can just see, it always takes a lot longer to go off at the base. That's just one of those things about lime. Um, so again, you've got to use, make sure you use the right lime, otherwise you're going to be waiting for it to go, go off for so long. Um, cost, if you do it for a living, you cost yourself a lot of time. Um, so basically what I did, I came right from the top all the way down and went along here and then along there and then down there. And I just did the last bit of brushing on that this morning so you can tell that's going to take really for it all to dry out. Um, it's, going to, it's, going to, it's going to need about another week but it's good to go now. And then over the next 12 months it'll carbonate um, and so there'll be a, a slight color change as it absorbs the carbon di uh, the uh, the carbon dioxide which was um, um, burnt off from it uh, during the during the kilning process it will pull back quite a bit of that out of the atmosphere and the process of carbonation is what makes um, is what hardens the lime up it'll only ever reach a certain compressive strength which means that it's, only, it's gonna it's going to remain soft, porous and flexible for the remainder of its life. But this is now good to go for the next 100 years. At the very least, I'd expect at least 200 years out of this. Um, so I'll give you a bit of a close up there. Creamy white mortar. It's what, everybody's, it's what everybody wants. Um, if you use a natural hydraulic lime, um, unless you use something with a very high free lime content, you're going to get um, uh, you're going to get quite a cementitious looking mortar. Um, and uh, if you're going to use a, a putty, then um, you know depending that'll really show off because the thing is the lime the lime is the smallest aggregate, uh, so it doesn't make any difference whether you're using hydrated lime, natural hydraulic lime, um, quick lime. Uh, or lime putty, um, the lime is the finest aggregate, and what you always do is you show, you showcase the finest aggregate. So um, you know if you're talking about um, um, a quick lime, for example, then um, it's going to be a lot of aggregate in your uh, lime aggregate in your mortar, and therefore you're going to get um, very uh, very creamy. Very creamy water. You know, for um, putty, um, it's going to show the aggregates off more um, because that's um, not not quite as lime rich. Putty is nice. Depends on what you want to do with it. Depends on um, you know what you want to achieve internally or externally as far as decorative effect is concerned. Um, but yeah, I suppose um, really just above the uh, above the lintel there, that's the um, um, that's 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 the driest so far um, and so that's um, what would I call that clotted cream I guess 
Um, but it took a long time to find this um, uh, this mortar. It took a long time to find this lime, you know. Um, so um, some, yeah, I'm sure you know there are some people who are to um, criticise. There always are. Um, but uh, you know that's um, this is pretty much sort of uh, what you can expect for uh, for internal repointing. You will notice that the 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 mortar is not recessed back. Right, we're not going arras to arras here. What we're doing is what's called flush pointing. Right, and the result is that you get a smooth wall. Right, and a lot of people go for a sort of surface of the, uh, a lot of people want the surface of the moon. Um, they want all the stone really exposed, but honestly, you do that and, um, and, and, and um, it, it's not necessarily what, it's not necessarily what everybody wants when they're buying a house. You know, they want smooth, they want flush, they want stone on show, you know, and they need the right colour mortar internally. Otherwise, it'll just look dark and dingy. It'll look like a cave, right? Because like I said, um, the photons of light um, interact. They dance around a light room. So if you don't have a creamy white mortar like this, it, it'll look pretty dingy. Right, okay. I'll leave it with that. Any comments, any questions, please, um, you know, please feel free to, uh, please feel free to ask. Okay, thanks.